Hi, YouTube. Uh, we are live on Twitch from the second Mario's Gaming World Digimon Circuit Tournament, and we are here with tonight's winner from the Digi Academy himself, Nobu. Hi, Nobu. Hi, chat. Even Hi, though YouTube. the video can now see exactly what you're playing, do you want to tell everyone what you're playing and why? I was a little shot. I'm taking that. I accept. Uh, I was playing D Brigade, uh, Commander Mon Best Boy. I, uh, yeah, no, this is, uh, it's pretty cool. I played Blue All Force in the last three events that I played in and got paired against Set Control like every tournament. So I just said, hey, let's play the deck that like auto beats Set Control. And I thought of D Brigade. Very nice. Well, the deck looks pretty solid. It's it's super interesting because D Brigade came second in the last tournament. It saw some play in Sean's tournament yesterday, and it obviously just won today. So, take us through the ropes. Okay, so you play all the Commandramons, um, because they're just the pieces that you need to see. I see some people cutting down on this one, um, the 4-drop 5k body. So the reason why you should never do that is because you want to make sure that this Commandramon resolves as much as possible. The whole strategy of the deck is to just like get bodies that either recur themselves or gain van gain advantage. Um, in which case, like if you aren't resolving this as much as you can, then you're probably losing the game. Um, so yeah, and there are just like a lot of times where like Gasmon would swing into this guy, uh, Recruiter. Mandramon, he would mill the top five and then hit into blocker and I wouldn't die that turn. So they're all pretty pretty standard in the deck list. Um on top of that, for wrapping up our D brigades, we're playing four seals and uh four Dark Dramon. Thought about cutting this down to three, just because it is like a Lobomon type card. Um, but because of the amount of cycling that you can do against security control. Um you just get to play it, put five D Brigades back on top of your deck, which can be another copy of Dark Dramon. So you just get that infinite loop going, and then you firstly cannot deck out, and secondly, you have access to all those blockers again, you have access to seals again, um, you have access to the vanillas if you want to choke the opponent, or if they don't have, like, the black uh, Izzy and Joe out. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't cut this card for anything. Four of is fantastic seals because it's a deeper gate and a blocker um, despite not really liking blockers much this format seals helps out a ton because it is a deeper gate um it lets half and, your deck be deeper gate cards yeah exactly and along with that being 6k is huge when people are hard calling cordras out um and yeah so speaking of which we're playing um playing 11 security digimon mm -hmm. playing the four of cordra which is just on play draw two cards um very good because d brigade had the issue previously in like bt4 and bt5 where you would just empty out your hands super quickly because you're committing all your resources to the board and then you couldn't really get that advantage going again um we're also playing nanimon because he is a very cheap um level four to just hard slam out on the board on top of being a security digimon so his dp doesn't really matter we're not like in bt5 format where dp depletion is relevant in any way shape or form um but just having multiple security digimon that the opponent can like swing in and then you spawn out four bodies is insane i actually did that today um against not against sean against the first jessmon player i played against he swung his uh his jessmon with sec plus one he hit into cordramon cordramon and then he swung it again hit nanimon and the third cordramon um and because of the amount of checks that he was like because of the amount of bodies that i was able mm -hmm. to get out he just couldn't account for all those checks in his security yeah. um Insane. and of course we're playing Zork defeat have you um, thought about playing four Zork defeat I have, so the reason why I don't is because this card is a lot of the time in my hand. Um, there were 
most of my matches today where he was just like chilling in my hand out in my security and i understand that the fourth is supposed to be like oh well doing the math he's going to be in your security more often but he's also going to be a dead card in my hand more often than not because you're like your only way to get to him is hard call dark Dramon, and then digivolve on top of him after you rush swing yeah and because dark Dramon requires setup as it is it's not really worth it to play the or defeat in any more copies you know what i mean i hear you that's fair um so that does it for security digimon they're all fantastic i love them all um <clears throat> reikomon searches out most of the cards in the deck he searches out any card with drum on in its name so that is four eight twelve and then um, all your commander mons then all the commander mons yeah so that is a very large portion of the deck that you just get to check the top three and then add one it's literally he came always up... resolving yeah he came up today to add the dark Dramon. he came up to add seal Dramon. um he was pretty good the only alternative for him it would be chumon in my mind um and i did have an issue today where like Sekkon or jessmon would be able to um would be able to like just set up a memory boost and then there was no way for me to answer that it's not like sword defeat where i could have popped their tamer so chumon would have definitely helped in those instances but it just helps with my overall consistency which is always something that i need personally as a player yep okay that's fair um next we played three izzy and joe's one izzy azumi mm -hmm. uh god so what's your thought Don't I don't want to say this because I hate him at the moment for making my name a meme. Uh, Izzy told me to play this ratio exactly, and I went, that's stupid, but I'll do it. And if it doesn't work out, I was going to yell at him for it. I can't yell at him for it. Um, this Izzy was fine, but because of the amount of blue and white cards that I was playing, uh, it wouldn't go, like, it wouldn't put me to three all that often. This card was absurd, specifically against security control. Um, not for the gain to memory aspect, but for the drawing cards, yep. because then I could, like, recruiter, check the top three, call a commandra, then draw a card, then pogu check. It's oh, just yeah. tons of value that you're getting. That reminds me of a question I had for you. So, yeah, what's up? Against the very last security control opponent, you weren't always triggering Izzy and Joe. Specifically, at one point, I remember you only triggered one when you had two on the field. And I was like, oh. Why? So, curious. Um, so my reasoning at the time was I counted, um, I had 14 cards in my hand. Mm -hmm. So at that point I had figured that I had drawn enough, I had seen all the pieces that I needed to. Um, regardless of that, I didn't want to deck out because it is Seccon, like despite the fact that Dark Dramon can put four card, uh, five cards back. I didn't want to, like, absolutely rely on that because it's only a matter of time until I run out of memory. And then um, security control just like makes me deck out regardless. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I believe I said that out loud to my opponent because he was like, that was weird. And I was like, yeah, I just don't want to deck out. Um, That's fair. So, yeah. Uh, don't hate this ratio at all. It was really good to go up to five memory and then just drop an eight cost kill spell against like Jessmon. Did that super consistently. Mm -hmm. Um,. Jessmon was my round one and two, and from then on, it was nothing but security control. It was four rounds today, right? Five Let's rounds. Five rounds? Yeah. Um, two Jessmon, two Seccon. Look, I'm tripping. Sorry, chat. It's been a long day. Hey, you're fine. You're good. Okay. Um, for the eight cost kill spells that I was just talking about, we ran eight. Eight, yeah. uh, four ultimate flare and four iron fisted onslaught um this card is one of the most broken spells in the game right now yep. definitely would play it uh, i have beef with ultimate flare called it doesn't do anything into sec con yeah um it just doesn't do anything in that matchup it's just another dead card in hand so i would have it a lot of the time when we uh when 
I played into that matchup where they would just go like, oh yeah, hard call my Mega or like swing um, yeah. Magnadrum on, then call Sala, and I was like, okay, Ultimate Flare still doesn't do anything. No. So, uh, overall, I like Iron Fisted a lot. I might try tinkering with the amount of Ultimate Flare that I play, like maybe play three and one of uh, Black Memory Boost, just something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, overall, I liked it. Uh, and then for finally the eggs, we have the four Pogu and the one of Missimon. Yep, that's um, pretty Pogus. Actually super good in the deck because between like, if you have, you did it a couple of times where you can have Izzy Joe, the recruiter Pogumon, uh, so the recruiter Commandermon and a Pogumon. So you're basically deck thinning three times just for one deletion. That's really strong. Exactly. Um, Plus, along with that, there was just a lot of the time where, like, I would bottom deck cards that I didn't necessarily want, like the Cordramons and whatnot, and I understand that it's not usually, like, a bonus to say, oh, hey, I bottom decked a card that I didn't want, instead of having it gain me value. Because you always do want the value off of it, but it was really nice to see, like, oh, hey, uh, like, Cordramon to the bottom, or uh, Ultimate Flare to the bottom in case of the security control matchup. So, fair enough. I felt I felt pretty good. Do you battle. have any, I guess, last minute advice or any suggestions for anyone that might want to hop on the D Brigade train in this format? Um, my worst matchup is Gabu Bond. Uh, it's a big problem for the deck because your Digimon don't get deleted, which is where you want them to go. Mm -hmm. They're not going to the trash. It's a big problem for you. Um, so, I would suggest testing things like Mechanori. Uh, I thought about Magnadramon because it's searchable off of the Dracomon. Also, like, regaining that to security is pretty important. Um, Jestmon and Sekkon are two of your best matchups, in my opinion. Um, and I was just very fortunate that that was all I played against today. So... Yeah. Very nice. Well, I appreciate you, Nobu, for letting me take the time to feature your deck and get your thoughts. I think it's very, very cool in a format where people are saying that Jessamon and Goblin are the best decks, where really they are definitely still really good. It's nice to see something else besides that or Security Control actually winning tournaments. And, like, it was a five to six round tournament today. And, you know what? Honestly, it was, a, it was fun watching. It was really cool. Very inspiring. Thanks, man. Is it cool if I do, like, a little shout-out thing? Yeah, go for it, man. Cool. Shout-out to Izzy. I hate you at the moment because you made me a beam, and we're gonna fight about it. But, man, I would not be playing this deck. I probably wouldn't have played tonight without you. Hi, Key. Um, shout-out to Bepsi for playtesting the Gabu Bond matchup so that I had sem some semblance of knowing what to do. Shout-out for Moonrose for making me late in between rounds. You know how it be. Um... Uh, my whole team supported me tonight, and I appreciate all of them a ton. Teams aside, oh. the Digi Academy is pretty poggers. It really is pretty poggers. Pretty poggers. And shout out to you, Mario, for having me on. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Appreciate it. Of course. Well, well, guys, that'll do it for the deck profile. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, let me know what you think about the deck profile. Do you play this? Do you want to play this now? Would you make any changes on your own? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe so you know when this stuff goes live. With that out of the way, we're going to go. So have a wonderful evening. See you later. Good night.